benefits of keeping cats in Islam. Reduces loneliness. The first advantage of having a cat is that the company can may reduce our loneliness and replace it with a sense of comfort and peace. Indeed, cats are frequently thought of as devoted companions. According to a study, having a cat can stimulate us to engage in physical exercise and actively reduce stress and anxiety. Help us develop into a responsible person. One of the most essential aspects of daily living in Islam is responsibility. Taking care of a cat teaches us responsibility, from giving it food and water to making sure it has a comfortable bed and maintaining its health. Teaches us to be charitable. Giving food or drink to animals is a part of the charity. Whoever does this will get a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, There is none amongst the Muslims who plants a tree or sows seeds, and then a bird or a person or an animal eats from it, but is regarded as a charitable gift from him. Teaches us the value of empathy and compassion for others. Taking care of animals is a way for practicing empathy. So, while we keeping a cat, we unintentionally come to understand their requirements and strive to satisfy them. If we show love and affection to the cat, we will also experience its happiness, hunger, thirst, illness, and fear. Being empathetic will make it simpler for us to treat people and animals with justice, kindness, and friendship, and to provide aid to those in need. Get forgiveness of Allah. If we take good care of cats, then we have shown our gratitude to Allah for the blessings He has given us. We have also shown our love for the Prophet وسلم, who really loves cats. Thus, we hope to receive forgiveness and pleasure from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cleanliness Cats are clean animals, even though cats often eat something unclean, like carrion. But cat eliminates the unclean nature by its ability. We don't need to worry if cats touch or lick our things. Drinks from our ablution water vessel. We can still use the water for ablution without having to wash the vessel first. Therefore, cats are the pets of the Prophet وسلم, which he loves very much. He said, They, cats, are not nudges. Rather, they are of those who go around amongst you. At a scale of good deeds in the afterlife. Another advantage of keeping a cat, according to Islam, is that it becomes a scale for good deeds in the hereafter. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, A woman entered the hell because of a cat, which she had tied, neither giving it food nor setting it free to eat from the vermin of the earth. So, caring for cats is important.